Good morning everyone, happy Sunday. My name is Danny Kerr and I'm here at Twickenham for Get Your Shirt On. Now, you've already had Nolly and you've had Ugo taking you through a session. They were in the Twickenham gym. Now, they've reserved a pretty special place for me. I'm in the RFU President's Room, which may be a sign that in a few years time I could be the next RFU President. I don't know, up to you, let's see how we go. But all you need, get your shirt on. If you haven't got your club shirt on, Go and get it now. We're in tough times at the moment in lockdown, but we want to get up, get active and support your community club. So go and get your shirt on. Meet me back here. All we need is your shirt, a water bottle, a rugby ball if you've got one, or I've even got a cushion or a pair of socks. Whatever we can do, make it safe, but we're here to have fun. So meet me back here. We're going to do a quick warm up. Right, all you under 11s to 14s, quick warm up now. Make sure you keep up with me. Firstly, hope you've had a drink. Secondly, grab a ball or a pair of socks. I'm going to use this little ball here and we're going to start with some high movements. Some high knees. Everyone on high knees. As fast as you can. Keep going, that's it. Let's get nice and warm. Get, the, get that blood pumping. Get the legs going, get the legs looking good. Nice and high knees. And when I say change, we're going to go to a leg hop. Let's go for 10 hops on the right, 10 hops on the left, and we go back to high knees. Here we go, back to high knees. Next one we're going to do, we're going to be doing our high knees, and we're just going to throw a pass. So get, get your brother, or your sister, your mum, your dad, your granddad, your friend. Hopefully, don't break anything. Hopefully, you've got some good passing skills. And when you're passing, really key, that we get good techniques. So every time when you pass, finish your hands all the way through to the target. Sounds simple, but where, where you throw your hands is probably where the ball's gonna go. So every time I say now, we're just gonna go high knees, and I say pass, you throw a pass. High knees again, a bit faster this time. Pass, throw a pass, get it back. High knees again, pass, get it back. Right, we're gonna, Build the tempo a little bit now, just jogging on the spot. And when I say chase, just think you're at Twickenham. You've just caught an interception. You're going for the line, but all these South Africans are chasing you down. You've got to get there as quick as you can. So if I sign up chase, I need really quick feet on the spot for five seconds. So chase, one, two, three, four, five, and score the try. Two hands, blow the kiss to the camera. You are the hero. Same again, jogging on the spot. Chase, intercept, one, two, three, four, five, score the try, you're the hero. Brilliant work guys, now this time we're just going to do a catch in the air, when I throw the ball in the air, quick catch, but I need both feet off the ground, Mike Brown teaching me this week, both feet off the ground, get the ball close to your chest, same again, one, one more time, catch in the air, off the ground, right now, if I shout tackle, You've made a tackle, I just need you to hit the ground, back up, straight away jogging again. So jogging on the spot, tackle, straight back into it. Try and work as fast as you can off the ground. That's something Eddie Jones says every time, get off the ground, get back in the defensive line. Tackle, back in, same again, tackle. One more tackle, there we go, brilliant stuff guys. Right now, I'm gonna move on to a little up and compete drill. So if you've got a towel or a cushion, put the cushion down, put the ball in front of it. We're gonna work on trying to steal the ball from the opposition. So here we go, but we're gonna do it from the side. I think Nolly last week had you starting from here. We're gonna start from the side. So lying down on the side, when I say compete, jump up through the gate, get your hands on the ball. Come from the other side, if I say compete, jump up through the gate, hands on the ball, steal the ball, it's really key for a quick penalty, you don't want to do jump up, go and get the ball like that. The referee will give a penalty away. Good kickers like Owen Fowl, we're going to come on to in a second, we'll kick three points. So for what I need to do now, lie down on the side when I say compete, jump up, compete for the ball. Compete. Yeah, good speed. And again, get set, ready. Compete. Brilliant stuff, brilliant stuff, right. Now onto a bit of fun stuff. We're not actually going to kick the ball, but we're calling this section the Owen Farrell section. So Owen does a variety of kicks. First one will be the long punt, nice and long. So get that right leg through, try off your left leg, straight through. If we're going to go a little bit higher, 
what Owen does is extend the leg a little bit higher to get more of an up and under so we can get a good chase. So try an up and under on the right foot, up and under on the left foot. And something that I have to do quite a lot is box kicking. Just practice this movement, taking the ball, big kick off the right, taking the ball, big kick off the left. And I think something you saw on the weekend against Georgia, Owen Farrell and a lot of the boys were doing was grubber kicks. So a little grubber kicks, placing it on the foot, and that's just a little, little dink. So let's go grubber with the left foot. Let's go grubber with the right foot. And let's just try one more randomly. I'm gonna shout something you gotta do. It's a box kick, box kick off the right. This one we're gonna go long kick, long kick off the right. Quickly, long kick off the left. We finish off with a grubber off both feet, so grubber off the right foot, grubber off the left foot, and that is your warm-up done. Make sure you get some water in. Hopefully you've all got your shirt on. Parents, please keep sending in some pictures. Hashtag get your shirt on. Let's get into the session. Right, I hope you've all got your shirt on there. If I can see down the camera, yeah, I can see a lot of you with your shirts on. Make sure you're sending us your videos. Make sure your parents send in, tweet us in. Leave your comments on Facebook, on YouTube, send us in your photos, where you're from, what shirt you're representing. I need you jogging on the spot. Everyone jogging on the spot. The first thing we're going to do, we're just going to practice a scrum half pass from the ground. Now, not only as a scrum half, anyone that can play there. You find that always, you see it when England play at the weekend, anyone can play scrum half. So I want you to practice passing from the ground. Whether you've got a ball or a cushion, I just want you jogging on the spot. And when I say pass, you're going to pass to your left. So pass, pass to the left. And the key for this is to get nice and low, hands on the ball, push through the target. So I want your hands at the end. Why I always look so good in the photos is because I always finish straight like that and you can always look good in the photos. So here we go, jogging on the spot, pass, and then straight back. See the ball just comes back to me. I don't know who's even thrown it back. It's like, a, it's like magic, camera magic. Jogging on the spot, pass. There we go. And then the one that I quite like doing, jogging on the spot, you think I'm going to pass. I'm not, and I'm showing and going, and I'm scoring a try. Maybe you saw that in Paris 2016 when England won the first Grand Slam in a long time. That was maybe me scoring that try. OK, we're jogging on the spot a little bit more. Keep it going, keep the energy up. Pass. Lovely. And the ball comes straight back. Look at that again. OK, one more time, jogging on the spot, quickly. Pass. And there we go. Right, we're going to move on to our next exercise now which is a bit of a favorite of mine it's the tap penalty now the tap penalty I normally like to do that a bit too dangerous we don't want to be breaking your mum's TV so we're going to go from the ground the other way to do the tap penalty this is how we're going to catch catch teams out so when I say tap you're going to be jogging on the floor spot tap it with your foot and a quick accelerate either way so here we go jog on the spot tap tap the ball accelerate so we can also do that with a tap, with a pass. Hope you guys are enjoying this. Hope you guys are getting a bit of energy going. One, two, three, tap. And then a show and go and a pass as well. So we can do that also. If you haven't got a ball, get some socks. These, these are, can't hurt anything. So you can maybe try this one. Try a little tap like that, with, with, not with a ball, please. As we said, Grandma's china, grandma's ornaments, we don't want to be knocking any of them over, but maybe get a pair of socks, or if you've got a cushion, if I say tap, tap, big pass, and a pass as well. So we're incorporating both of the movements there. You keep going with that. Parents, please keep sending in your pictures. Take some snaps of the kids. Let us know where they're doing it. Hopefully everyone's enjoying themselves, and hopefully they're not as tired as me after only three minutes so far. The next one we're going to go into, a fun one. Everyone likes scoring tries. So we're gonna do a sidestep into a try. So this is, I'm gonna use this cushion as my defender. I'm just gonna be jogging on the spot, come up to the cushion, sidestep, score the try with two hands. Make sure two hands, because we've seen a lot of people before go with one, oh dear. Next thing you know, you don't get picked for a long time. So make sure you put the ball down with two hands. So running into the defender, little sidestep, Try, ball down with two hands and have a bit of fun with this, whatever you want to do. Get, the, get your socks, you don't just have to do a normal side step. You see a lot of players these days, see Jonathan Joseph at the weekend against Georgia, unbelievable feat. He likes to do these ones, a little pirouette into a try. 
not just a rugby player, he could be a dancer as well. So just keep doing that a couple more times. Running in, sidestep pirouette, score the try with two hands, kiss to the camera, wave to all the fans. And that's what we need you to do. Everyone with their shirts on, representing your community game. Imagine you're at Twickenham wearing your West Park Leeds kit, running in, sidestep, scoring the try, throw the ball, throw your hands in the air, take all the applause. We move on to the last, ex the last exercise, which is beat the defender. Okay, so this one, we're gonna throw a big, a big old sidestep. Whenever I say beat the defender, we're gonna throw a big old sidestep. So jogging on the spot, big sidestep and straight through. A few more of them off both sides. One, two, three, beat the defender, straight through. We can score the try as well, two hands again. Okay, last sort of 30 seconds, loads more energy. Let's just go through one, let's do one exercise. Sorry, let's just do one rep of all of the four exercises. First one, pass from the ground, ready, pass. There we go, straight back in. The next one's gonna be a tap and go. Tap, go, and a little pass as well. The ball just keeps coming straight back to me. Last one, sidestep with a try. Oh God, what a try. And the last one, beat the defender, massive dummy. Oh, and he's through. Cares under the sticks again at Twickenham. We've got five seconds left. Hope you enjoyed the warm up. Get your water in, and we can move on to the next exercise when I catch my breath. Right, we're going to move on to a bit of a gymnastics series now. Now, I, I did gymnastics till I was about 12 years old, and I think it has really helped me to become a rugby player. And all of these movements we do at Harlequins, and I know the boys and girls all do it at England. So we're going to work through four movements. The first one's going to be a bear crawl. I know you guys have done this with Nolly and Ugo, but we're going to perfect it this week. This is going to be the best. So the bear crawl, we just need you to be in a real good position. Get a really nice flat back. If your mum and dad there, if they can balance their cup of tea on your back, you're doing it right. We're just gonna go back. One, two, three. With good technique, get back to the start. One, two, three. Back to the start. One, two, three. And we're gonna do that three more times. So you should do three more bear crawls like that. So there's six in total. Remember, nice flat back if you think if you see Mako Vunapola, Ellis Gens, Joe Marler, Carl Sinclair, Jamie George, their back in the scrum is always flat. If they get like that, they're going to get, they're going to get done. If they get too low, they're going to get done. So keep your back nice and flat when you're working back. Hopefully we've got through six, six of them there. Now we're going to go into a low squat walk. So they're nice and low. Bend your legs. This is a really good one for me with all this passing that I have to do. I have to get nice and strong here. So let's do three to the left. And let's come back three to the right. To try and really test yourself, get as low as you can. Nice and strong, nice and strong. Again, nice flat back, straight back, coming up. Let's go once more to the left. There we go. Once more to the right, staying as low as you can. Now, I used to be able to do the splits. I can't do it anymore. I'm sure a few of you guys can do that. You're getting a lot lower than I am, that's for sure. Great, we're there. Now we're onto a crab walk. Now this will text Test your flexibility. I'm sure you guys will have no problem with this. But just get into a little crab walk. Let's go three steps to the left, three steps to the right. Try and keep your hips as high as you can, hopefully higher than mine. Again, three to the left, three to the right. That works your whole body, works your shoulders, works your hips, works your hamstrings, a full body exercise. Let's just do two more of them. Three to the left, three to the right. Brilliant work. Tell you what, you're looking great, all of your shirts on, parents, please. Keep leaving us some reviews on Facebook. Check us out on YouTube. Get the hashtags in, send some pictures. Moving on to the last one now is the inchworm. Get yourself a bit of space for this one. Now this one, we wanna go straight leg down so you get a good stretch on the hamstrings. Work your way out. If you're feeling up to it, throw a little press up in there. Work all the way back. Really good stretch for your hamstrings and your lower back. Let's just do a few more of them. So work your way out, quick press up if you can, don't worry if you can't, straight back up. Let's go one more, it's a really good exercise to get everything going. Let's just do three more of them at home. I'm a bit tight so I'm going to stay and watch you, watch you do it. Let's keep doing that. Three more, focus on full body, we're, walk, we're working with quality rather than quantity here, no need to rush it. Just a good body movement. Let's try and get one more inchworm. Here we go, I'll do it with you. All the way down, no press up. Straight back. 
And there we go. Hopefully, the whole body now feels really warm, warm, ready to go. What I need you to do now is grab a bit of water, have a squeeze. Parents, make sure that the kids are hydrated, please. Put your cups of tea down, get the kids some water. And we're going to do that whole thing again. I'm going to challenge you now, I'm going to put you on the clock. We're going to do 30 seconds of each exercise. Same again, we need quality rather than quantity. I'm not looking for big numbers here, I just want you to do the 30, full 30 seconds, good form, good technique. So we'll start with the bear crawl. Let's do the bear crawls, ready, go. That's a nice technique, all the way back. And if you want, you can just bear crawl all the way forward again. Same again, remember keep your back nice and low. Remember those that are in the scrum, you'll never catch me dead in a scrum, but those that do, they need to have really strong backs and you can see it's a full body exercise, using your calves, using your hamstrings, your quads, your hips, your back. Keep going back and forward. Hopefully you're blown as much as I am. One more second and up. Shake it off quickly. In five seconds, we're going to go again with the low lateral walks. Okay, are we ready? Let's get set nice and low. And we're going to go one, two, three, and back to the right. Stay as low as you can here. I'm going to really test myself, test your groins. As I said, for any scrum halves out there, this is a brilliant drill for getting these hips, getting these groins really strong. Make sure your back's in a good position. Don't be bent over. Stay nice and upright. And let's just keep going. Five more seconds on this one. That's it, we can get there and back, I'm sure, in two seconds. Brilliant work. Again, shake your legs off. Now we're going to go to my least favourite, the crab walk. Okay, let's just get in a nice position. Try and get your hips nice and high, something I really struggle with. I'm sure a lot of you are better than this. And let's go. Three to the left. Three. Three to the right. That's it. Try and keep those hips up. I know I'm not practicing what I'm preaching because I can't do it myself. But you guys, I'm sure, are doing a great job. Parents, again, take some videos. I'm sure this would be some good footage. Send it in to us. We'll retweet the best ones. You guys keep going for 10 more seconds. Crab walks. Brilliant work. Representing all the community clubs. I know we can't be at training at the moment, but you're really representing them greatly. Here we go. Next one. Last one, the inchworm. We're going to do six perfect form inchworms. So remember, nice and straight legs. Work your arms out. Rest there for a second. Push back. Keep the legs straight. And up to the top. Here we go. 20 more seconds of this. Let's try and go as many as we can now with good form. Really good for the hamstrings and the back. And if you want to look good in the t-shirt, maybe throw a little press up at the end. When your mum and dad takes the photos at the end, you want to have that good pump on. One more second. That's us done. Hopefully you enjoyed those gymnastic movements. They are all relatable to rugby. They all transfer to rugby. They're everything that the Red Roses are doing and the England men's team are doing. Thank you for getting involved. Make sure you get some water. Right guys, brilliant work so far. Now we're going to move into some rugby skills and some movements. But first, if you haven't already, quick drink. Parents, you're welcome. Kids, keep hydrated. Right, we're going to move on to, as I said, some movements and rugby skills. Now I know Nolly last week introduced the bat attack where you're touching different things, moving there. And Ugo the week before did animal movements. He wasn't the best animal in person I've ever seen. I'm going, to, I'm going to amalgamate the two together because they saved the best till last. They've kept me to the final week. We're going to put this all together into a little game. So we're going to, you need four objects from around, the, for, get four objects, put them around the room, label them one, two, three, four. I've got a couple of rugby balls, a cushion and a pair of socks. You can use anything you want. You could use your mum's bottle of wine. You could use your dad's can of beer that he's drunk from the last night. Anything you need, but you need to go one, two, three, four. I'm going to call an animal movement. I need you to do the animal movement to the number, touch it back to the, back to the center. So if I start, we're going to start with three animal movements. The first one's going to be the kangaroo for all those Aussies. We don't really like Australia here at England, but this is what you have to do. So kangaroo, I need you to jump, jump, jump. If I say kangaroo one, jump to kangaroo one. Kangaroo four, kangaroo jumps to the four, back to the middle. The next one is a bear. Now this is where you can really get into it. I saw Ugo, he wasn't the greatest bear I've ever seen. He wasn't really a very scary bear. 
But if I say bear two, little bear crawl to two, back to the middle, just think of those, those scrums, those big people, you know, they've got to run and push hard. Scrub, bear, bear three, back to the middle, and then the last one's going to be a gorilla. Now have a bit of fun with this. Be a gorilla, enjoy yourself. Just think, think Joe Marler on a rugby field. So if I say gorilla four, Joe Marler, he hangs around like this. He's a gorilla, Joe Marler two, Joe Marler one. He's back in the middle. And there we go. So we've got bear, kangaroo and gorilla. One, two, three, four. I'm going to start going. Ready? Go. Okay, let's go. Bear, two. That's it. Keep going. Parents, please take some pictures. Then we're going to go kangaroo, one. Kangaroo jumps to one. And then kangaroo all the way to three. Kangaroo to two. And from kangaroo to two, we're going to go gorilla. We're going to go Joe Marler again, guys. Joe Marler to one. Joe Marler. Joe Marla to three. Joe Marla back to the middle. Keep it going. Who can do the best Joe Marla impression? Please, parents, take some videos. Please send them in. Hashtag get your shirt on. You know where to find us on Twitter, on Instagram, on Facebook, on YouTube. We're all covering all the channels. Keep going. Let's go for 30 more seconds on this. Which one haven't we done? We haven't done the bear for a while. Okay, so let's go bear one. Okay, this is the bear. Bear three. I'll tell you, I'm getting warm for my first game on Friday. Bear four, bear one, then we're going to go back to kangaroo, okay, kangaroo to two, kangaroo to four, kangaroo to three, kangaroo back to the middle, and we're done. Wow, I see you guys are working incredibly hard there, I'm tired already. Let's just go now to a quick simple one. Now in rugby, unfortunately, you do have to get tackled every now and then but I'm going to teach you a good way to fall, fall safely. So look, if you're at home and you're on a hard floor, start on your knees. If you're on a, if you're on a nice soft floor like a carpet, you can stay on your feet. But all I want you to do is practice good habits, it's called the parachute fall, ball in two hands, you get tackled, fall to the ground, land on your backside, nice cushiony bit, place the ball out with two hands. So if we're just up in the air and I say fall, unfortunately you've been tackled, oh, I've been tackled, fall on the, on the backside, Ball out, the scrum half can come play it away. You can practice that off both sides. I've been told by our cameraman that I'm not allowed to fall on this side as I have the microphone. They'll send me a big bill. I can't afford to pay the bill at the moment. So let's just keep going. A couple more of these. One more. Catch the ball. Parachute four. Good placement. Danny cares there to sweep the ball away. We'll probably score a try in the corner. Right, on to a bit of fun now. We're going to do some passing tricks. So with this, I don't care about technique. All I want is, to, is a bit of fun. We're going to practice getting the ball anywhere you want. Firstly, throw in the air, clap. Throw in the air, clap and pass. So if you get your mum or your dad, your sister, your brother, stand to the side, throw in the air, try two claps, quick pass, catch again. Two claps, quick pass, the ball comes back to you, you clap again, you pass it. So you can all play with this, loads of everyone clapping, please clap in everyone in the room, there we go. And there we go. The next one we're going to do is just around the back. So a cheeky little offload. You can see the big lads doing this a lot. Here, little offload, straight to the target. Look at that. Right and left hand. It doesn't matter where it goes. I could break something in here. Nobody cares. I've got three licenses today. So all I want you to do is just around the back, have a bit of fun. You can use whatever you want. Maybe a pair of socks so you don't break anything. You're looking up, straight to the target. Same again behind the back. Then we can just have a bit of fun with it. Anything goes in rugby. Maybe you're playing sevens, maybe you're playing touch rugby. Throw some tricks out there. I like to see skills and please, parents, send us your favourite skills. Send us the skills. Hashtag get your shirt on. This one we're going to go under the leg. So just there, lift the leg up, under the leg. Great offload. Oh, it's a bit low, sorry. My fault. Oh, look at that. Under the leg. So I've got these massive legs down here. It's hard to get under. But a couple of them, and then just be really creative with it. Have a bit of fun. You can do what you want. Throw it, throw it like that. Bit of Harlem Globetrotter stuff. Just whatever you want. Try not to break, break any glasses. Maybe a little cricket ball. Who knows? Mauro Toje sometimes gets the ball, throws it over the top, out the back again. And then I'm just going to take you through a little trick now. A little trick. I think you maybe saw this week on Nolly's, um, Nolly's workout on Sunday. Megan Jones from the Red Roses, she did a trick where she got a tennis ball 
on a rugby ball and try to keep it up as many times as possible. I'm gonna try a rugby ball, I'm gonna try to make it a little bit harder, but challenge accepted, Megan and the Red Roses. Let's see how many we can get. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, the cameraman takes one. Sorry, cameraman. So you can use whatever you want. Tennis ball, rugby ball, whatever you can. Maybe even a pair of socks, that might even work. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine, I got nine. I got nine. Let's, just, let's hear how many you've got. Send in your answers, send in your responses, send in your videos on hashtag get your shirt on. That is my challenge for you guys. Keep going. Let's just do one more time, see as many as we can do. We've got 20 seconds to go, guys, on this one. One, two, three. God, he's, he's lost it. Got the socks in, doesn't matter, just keep going. Six, nine, still my, my target. One, two, three. I can't do any more than three. One, two, three, four. I'm breaking the room. Kicks the ball. Three seconds to go, as many as you can. Make sure you send them in. Done. Guys, we're done. Thank you so much for joining me today and thank you so much for joining England Rugby and the Get Your Shirt On campaign over the last three weeks. Hopefully you've enjoyed it, hopefully you've got a load out of it and hopefully next Sunday we can all go back to our local clubs, get involved with the community again, hopefully bring your friends, get everyone down to rugby. We need to get back to doing what we love, playing rugby, supporting our local community. But again, thank you, you've been brilliant. Take care, see you soon.